In this video, we'll be working a coin word problem in three variables. The quarters, nickels, and dimes totaled 20, and their value was $1.90. How many of each kind were there if there were four times as many nickels as quarters? Now, when you work coin word problems, you'll have two types of equations. One of them deals with the quantity of coin, and we'll use Q for quarters, N for nickels, and D for dimes. So this first sentence, since the quarters, nickels, and dimes totaled 20, we can use the quantity totaling 20. So we'll have Q plus N plus D equals 20. The other type of equation is dealing with the value of those coins. And we know that quarters are worth 25 cents. So we'll take 25 cents times the number of quarters plus, and then nickels are worth 5 cents, so 0 0.05 times the number of nickels plus and then dimes are worth 10 cents, so 0 0.10 times the number of dimes, and that has to equal this value, $1.90. Now since we have three variables, we're going to need three equations. Our third equation will come from this last sentence. How many of each kind were there if there were four times as many nickels as quarters? Now this is a little tricky in that we have to ask ourselves which is bigger, the quantity of nickels or the quantity of quarters. And it says there is four times as many nickels, so the number of nickels is a larger number, which means that N for nickels has to be on one side of the equation by itself, since this is the larger quantity. And Whenever we have an equation, the two sides are equal, so our smaller quantity, which is quarters, has to be multiplied by 4. So we have to write 4 times Q. Now we have three equations in three unknowns. I'm going to do some substitution. N is equal to 4Q, so I can sub 4Q into the other two equations in place of n. So I'll put a 4q here and a 4q here. So this top equation then, I'll rewrite that here. We have q plus, and then in place of n, I'll put 4q plus d equals 20. The second equation, 0.25q plus 0 0.05 times 4q plus 0.10d equals 1.90. Now I've reduced the number of variables to two. I either have Q or D. So I have two equations and two unknowns. I'm going to simplify this equation. I can add Q plus 4Q. That's 5Q. And then copy the rest of it. And then this one, I'm going to multiply by 100 to get rid of these decimals before I rewrite the equation. So this is 25q plus 5 times 4q plus 10d equals 190. 
All right, now let's combine terms here. 5 times 4 is 20. So I have 20Q here and 25Q here. That adds together to give me 45Q. And then plus 10D equals 190. So I think I'm going to use elimination here. I can change these, this top term to a negative 10D by multiplying every term by a negative 10. So then this equation, I can rewrite that here. Negative 10 times 5 is negative 50Q. And then negative 10D. And then negative 200. Now for elimination, we'll just add these two equations together. Uh, these two terms will uh, cancel off. So 45Q and a negative 50Q is a negative 5Q. And then 190 and negative 200 will be a negative 10. Divide both sides by a negative 5. These will cancel, and I have Q is equal to 2. Now let's go ahead and we'll work backwards here. Let's go ahead and put our Q value of 2 into this equation. I have 5Q plus D equals 20. So 5 times 2 plus D equals 20. 5 times 2 is 10, plus D equals 20. Subtract 10 from both sides. These will cancel, and D is equal to 10. So I have the value for D and Q. I still need N, and I think the easiest place to sub that back in would be here. N equals 4 times Q. N equals 4 times Q, and I know that Q is 2, so N equals 4 times 2, N equals 8. So I have 8 nickels, 10 dimes, and 2 quarters.